back in Arno Bay, South Australia, on the Spencer Golf with my good mate Merv Hughes. Oh, my good to be back in it. It is just looking forward to that. Too good. Now, what could we actually do to top last time when I, as in me, you personally, caught me, myself, and I caught a snap <laughs> on a sinker? What can we do that's better than that, mate? Um, I don't know. Soft plastics today? I like the man's thinking. I reckon I'd, soft I'd, plastics be good. I reckon give yourself a challenge. Put a line out without a sinker, without a hook today. I want to see how good you are. I reckon we're a chance. The fishing is so good here, I reckon we're a chance. We're heading to a wreck about 25 k's offshore. The fish are thick. I reckon we're a chance, mate. Just a yeah, small yeah. chance. Now you notice Merv cast the soft plastic a long way from the boat and the idea is to cast it as far as possible and then feather the line out like he's doing now and let the jig head and the plastic go all the way to the bottom. If you let it go to the bottom that's where the snapper are. Once it hits the bottom click the bale over and you lift the rod tip and then wind down the slack line let it hit the bottom again. Lift the rod tip wind down the slack line hit the bottom again. You've got to basically hop that plastic along the bottom all the way to get to the side of the boat again and then bring it up. Now snapper will hit it on the way up but they'll mainly hit it when it's just bouncing that meter over the bottom and soft plastics fishing whether it's for snapper or perch or flathead is all about feeling your line and feeling that lure through the rod. So the benefit of this braid with some fins braid on, you'll feel everything, you'll feel that thing hit the bottom, you'll feel it come off and Merv, if you get smashed by a snapper, <laughs> let me just say, you will feel it. We'll feel it. Now I've got some rigging to do. Good luck. Okay, thanks, mate. They call him the Mervinator. <laughs> Merv, I'm so impressed. It is just a beautiful day out here off Arno Bay. A few boats have pulled up around us. Merv saw one of them hook a fish, cast towards him, which I thought was quite sneaky. Oh, well, it's very sneaky, but you've got to do it there. And this is what he's hooked the fish on, one of the new Squidgy Pro Range, White Lightning, and that's the S Factor. And it is the stuff, well, it doesn't look too flash, does it, Merv? But you rub it on, and the fish just go nuts for it. And uh, how was the take, mate? It was hit it hard. Hit it hard? Hit it hard. Bit of fight. We're getting him up now. Now that's a flick bait. Merv's actually using bait. a shad. Yeah, I've oh, got a bit of colour. Merv's using a shad, that's a flick bait. You've got the big jig head, hook out the top, and it works very effectively, mate. What a gorgeous fish. Just watch him around those lines. Oh, and don't they go hard on a placky? Look at the size of that thing, mate. It's all right, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Just get the old Enviro net coming around the back here. And in we go. Oh. And the beauty of using an EnviroNet, as this is, and this is actually one of the InvisiNets that were invented for Tackle World, is that the fish doesn't get damaged. You can see the fish just lays in the net there. Nothing as in the way of spikes or scales are getting damaged. You can easily release the fish. And you don't get your hook stuck in the net, which is all important, because sometimes, I always say actually, I always say the best time to catch a fish is within 10 minutes of having had caught a fish. And there's nothing worse than trying to wrestle your hook out of the net when there's fish biting everywhere. Now, Look at that. Great thing about lure fishing is that the snapper's hooked right in the mouth. There's that shad we were talking about. Heavy weighted jig head, big strong hook. There's our shad and as it goes along the snapper just can't help themselves. Merv, you are a fishing machine mate. Oh, killing it today. Look at that. Just beautiful snapper. Snapper scientific name Pagasaratus. The snapper fishery in South Australia is just going from strength to strength. Now they have a closed season in November. That was pretty good thinking, I reckon, because it allows these fish to spawn. So any time of the year is a good time of year to come and catch these beautiful fish, isn't it, mate? Oh, they are fantastic fish, aren't they? Just corkers. I love snapper. What is it that you love about reds, mate? I reckon it's the colour. It's just the blue dots through the pink. They just come up magnificently, especially in the sun. If you're into fish, you'd marry one of those, oh, wouldn't you? Oh, just about. <laughs> just about. I think we'll put this girl back. That is just quality. Well done, mate. Well done to you. Let's use the current to my advantage here. Get his head into that current. Come on, mate. Come on, yeah, he's getting all lively on me. Ah, come on. There he goes, see the kick of the tail? Just so important to get these fish back. Yeah, he's another kick. There he goes, another kick. And away you go, mate. There you go, look, you kicked away. Now swim, see that? Quick off the mark, Hughes. <laughs> I've gone 
That was like you were coming in from the <laughs> Randwick end at about 400 miles an hour. Did you see? There's a quick switch. It was put the plastics rod down, come across here, the rod took off, and the Mervinator was on it. How's this? This is a twin power 4000 with 10 pound fins. This little stick's a Starlo stick. You'd be, look, if you caught flatties and stuff on it, you'd be doing well. But to catch big snapper and Merv, I think you've got a nice red on there. Yeah. Sounds a lot. I'm not getting him off the bottom too hard. He's uh, pretty keen on the bottom, I think. Now, traditionally, this is what people would think is a snapper outfit. Trinidad 16, nice strong stick. You'd expect sort of 30 to 50 pound braid. But as we move on, technology increases. We're actually catching a lot more fish on light gear, Merv, and doesn't it just make it so much more oh, exciting? Yeah. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? You've just got to love snapper. I know you probably get sick of hearing me say it, but there's a bit of tide now, so this fish is pulling against the tide. And on light gear, this is a fair effort, Merv, because that's a beautiful fish. Oh, he's going to the boat. Well, here he comes, and look at that for a solid, solid snapper. You want to grab him for me, Paul? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will, mate. And look how he has fought until there is no fight left in him. Look at that, he's gone. I might just lift him straight over the side, actually, because that hook looks pretty well buried in there. Oh. I might just lift him straight over the side, man. Oh, oh I'm Good quick. Catch. Oh. Good catch. You got him? Yeah, I got him, mate. Oh. Hey. Oh. You oh caught him the God. first time. I caught him the second time. <laughs> I must say, I was a little bit scared when I looked at Big Merv and he looked down and I dropped his fish. But I dove from third slip, Merv, <laughs> and I caught it with the left hand outstretched. It was a good dive. It, it was, was a good dive. We got him in the boat, that's the main thing. Gone! <laughs> it was nearly worse looking back to the dressing room. Merv, you're killing him. Oh, mate, it's been a good day. Uh, you got one on plastic, you got one on squid. What would you like to do next? Um, make sit, another one on squid. Sit in the cabin and mind your own business. No, no, you get another one on squid, I reckon. Put Sounds, another squid down there. Sounds like a plan. All good, mate. Let's see if this fish wants to go for a swim. Come on, mate. And away we go. Well done, boy. You are the <laughs> Mervinator. <laughs> This is a traditional fast water snapper rig. And when I say fast water, I'm talking about anywhere where there's tide. One knot through to even 12 knots. If you use the right gear, you can get to the bottom and still catch big fish. In that situation where you need a big sinker, I like to use an overhead reel. This is a Trinidad 16. Spooled with 30 pound braid. The reason you use the braid is you can use much smaller sinkers and you can feel everything that happens on the bottom because there's no stretch. So you don't get that big belly in the line as you would if you use mono. The rod is a T-curve. Plenty of strength through the butt section, but a nice fast tip. And with that T-curve graphite, you get plenty of lifting power and you've got a big fish and a heavy lead. Now, I've got a wind on leader, 50 pound, that comes off my braid. That gives me a little bit of shock absorption There's a big fish. The wind on leader runs through and then comes down to a black rolling or crane swivel. Always use black rolling or crane swivels because the brass ones don't actually swivel they should be called line joiners the other benefit of these they're extremely strong you'll find let's say this one's probably rated to about 80 kilos a brass swivel of 80 kilos would be about three times the size now on my main line I run an easy rig clip and that easy rig runs up and down and takes my large sinker that's a snapper lead and I can take that offer on just by undoing that loop, pulling it off, putting a bigger one on if the tide picks up, smaller one on if it drops off. And that dropper there from my easy rig to the sinker, I always use lighter line than I do on the main line. Benefit of that, if it gets snagged, it breaks away, I still get my rig back, and most importantly, my fish. In fast water, I like a minimum of one metre of leader and sometimes up to a rod length. The benefit of that is that when the sinker hits the bottom, this trace tends to wander around and not vibrate like a short trace would, which gives you great bait presentation. At the end of that trace, I have two hooks. Now, these are fairly close together. They're both 8 owner suicides. Bottom hook tied on, the second hook is snelled to the main line, and that gives me the ability to do great bait presentation, but also to have that top hook fixed. So when a fish takes it, you get a good solid hook up and penetration. So this is pretty much the perfect fast water snapper rig in almost any situation anywhere in Australia. Give it a go, hopefully it'll help your percentages.